Hi everyone, we're gonna get started here soon. Just saying welcome to all of you. The sun is shining here in my kitchen. Give you a few moments to get situated. Good morning. Hi, Kristen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lynn Yost, and I serve as the music associate at Grace Church. So I'm on a few minutes early, um, not quite savvy with the um, technology, so felt better to be starting a few moments earlier than normal. Hi Milton, good morning Beth. Good to, good to see that you all are watching. Hi Sandy, hope everyone is doing well this morning. Hi Janet, good morning to you. So I'm coming to you live from my kitchen. Uh, again, my name is Lynn Yost and I am the music associate at Grace United Methodist Church. I, I have the privilege of working with many talented singers and musicians of all ages. And I'm happy to be with you this morning. I've got my cup of tea. So let's do a cheers to one another. Raise your cup. Cheers to you. Hi, Denise. Hi, Diana. Good morning, Kathy and Sandy and Lenny. Oh, it's so great to see our wonderful Allie saying hello. Hi D, good morning Chris from Florida and Becky and Judy. Can I get a hands praise up? Today is Friday, we made it through the week. That's a wonderful accomplishment. Give a few moments to some more shout outs here. Hi Kathy and Clayton and Teresa. It's so good to see you this morning. It feels good to congregate together via Facebook. And I have a saying behind me on the wall. I know it's backwards for, for uh, visuals for you, but it says, without you, life would be flat. And it's got the symbol of the flat sign, the musical flat sign for the word be. And I feel like this is so true, our connection to each other is really what keeps us in tune with God, in tune with the world. So if you haven't noticed, I'm a music lover. So today we're going to have snippets of music alliterations. Let's take a moment and say hello to some more of our folks that are watching. Hi, Anne. Hi, Sharon. Great to see you and Marion. Welcome everyone. Hi, Teresa. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful this technology to be able to reach out to one another across across the globe. And good morning to Sherry in North Carolina and Julie Sadler. Good morning. Well, Pastor Janet is actually watching and listening with us this morning, and we want to give thanks to her for shepherding us um, through the weekly morning prayers. And we give thanks to you, Pastor Janet, for your devotion to us this week. Um, we hope that you'll have a chance to take a respite in that nature walk that you love so much. And we also give thanks for our Pastor Drew, who is taking care of our flock. And we are so blessed to have our spiritual leaders at this time. And as I shared with you, I'm learning how to do this live streaming, and I'm so thankful for uh, the folks uh, in our church, staff and lay, that help support us with this technology. So. A big shout out to Kristen and Ann and to John and Jeff. Just thank you so much for guiding us through all of this. Seeing some more folks logging in. It's so good to see you. Hi, Gail and Edie. Great to see you all. Well, today's theme is rejoicing. A singing God and God winks. And I have uh, up 
uh, excuse me, provided a link for you for a great music clip that I hope you'll enjoy at the end of our time together. And again, just want to say hello to those that are logging in and um, just to introduce myself again, I'm Lynn Yost. I'm the Music Associate at Grace Church and I'm happy to lead some devotional time with you today. I also want to remind um, our Grace flock that um, you have your Lenten devotional and if you are like me, it's providing such um, comfort. Today's uh, lovely devotion was written by Mike Hertz and um, just brought brought joy to my heart because he is one of our wonderful leaders of our youth and um, we're just so so blessed to have him and so many of you that um, lead our youth. So are you ready for our first scripture lesson this morning? This comes from the last book in the Old Testament, Zephaniah. So I invite you to pick up your Bible and follow along with me. I'm going to be reading from the um, New International Version. This is Zephaniah. It is um, a wonderful scripture um, that speaks to the joy um, and rejoicing of our God. So this is Zephaniah 3, um, verses 14 through 17. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord, your God, is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love, and he will rejoice over you with singing. Amen. I love how this passage reminds us that when we come through times of pain and hardship, God is there to rejoice over us. He's singing those words of assurance to us, and this really resonates for me. He's mighty to save. And during Lent, we dig deeper in our faith to understand what's going on in our world, in our lives. And it's just so relevant with the pandemic. And again, I just wanna lift up that last verse. The Lord is with you, he is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love and rejoice over you with singing. Just want to say hello to some more of our friends that um, you can sign up to receive our daily Lenten devotionals. Thank you for that, um, Kristen. And there's the link there. Um, we are able to provide that electronically. So thank you for um, that reminder too. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Sylvia. So I have been reflecting these past weeks um, as we are safe distancing ourselves and navigating a new norm that we have indeed moved out of our comfort zones in so many ways. One of my favorite authors is Anne Voskamp and she has written some devotional books and she has written about finding real joy in the midst of discomfort. In her book, 1000 Gifts Devotional, she shares that we're in step with the Holy Spirit when we step into hard things. I love how she says, when God moves us out of our comfort zones into places that are way bigger than us, places that are difficult and hard and painful, well, this is a gift. We're being a gift. Those hard places give us the gift of intimately knowing God in ways that might not ever have been possible in our comfort zones. The second scripture I would like to provide for you is about words of comforting grace. And this is from the book of Isaiah. It's a short scripture. 
Isaiah 49, 13. Shout for joy, you heavens. Rejoice, you earth. Burst into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and he will have compassion on his afflicted ones. So let me ask you during these past weeks, have you found joy outside your comfort zone? I feel like God nudges us to, to move out to where, that, where his spirit lives. And sometimes these nudges come in what we have known or we'll learn about this morning, God winks. Um, Squire Rushnell is an author and a TV veteran, and he actually coined this term. But I'll just tell you what a God wink is if you haven't heard of it. God winks are the little things that seem to happen randomly, but their signals are winks from God to give you direction or reassurance. And I want to share some of that with you today, that this theme of rejoicing for this Friday um, can come to us through God winks. I'll share a personal story with you. Um, my late father had a passion for sailing and we had a 1975 Catalina sailboat. Um, the family learned how to sail and um, my dad, who was a retired Air Force pilot, just loved flying and sailing and that wind that would carry him to tranquil space, whether it was up in the sky or in the water. And it's no surprise that dad also loved to watch bald eagles. Um, and my parents have a wonderful weekend getaway in Solomon's Island and bald eagles are, are quite prevalent in that area. Well, um, my father's health dramatically declined uh, several years ago and sailing was no longer um, a, a safe uh, opportunity for him to enjoy that that hobby of his and consequently that boat fell into disrepair and my father passed uh, last year and as a family we wrestled what to do with the sailboat because none of us had the time or money to invest into it it had as I said just really fallen apart sailing schools didn't want the boat we reached out to to sailing schools we even thought about sinking the vessel to um, have it become part of a reef. And this really weighed heavily on my family. Well, my sister was able to find a salvage company. And um, last weekend, it's been almost a year since the anniversary of my dad's passing, um, the salvage company came to take the vessel and to tow her away and have her parts be reclaimed. Well, on the date of the tow, my sister spied a bald eagle, eagle sitting in a tree very near the pier where our sailboat, the Sundowner, um, was docked. And as the tow boat came and took our vessel away, that bald eagle flew down from the tree, circled the tow boat and the sailboat twice and flew away. And we felt that was a God wink. Dad was reassuring us that it was okay to let the sailboat go, that he was fine with that because he's soaring up in heaven. And the sailboat's parts will be carried on other waters and other vessels. So pay attention to those little signs your winks from God because they're placed on your path for a reason and God is thinking about you and he's thinking about all of us. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope this helped you to recall some God winks in your life or perhaps you to um, contemplate that later today. Just want to say hello to Linda and Angie and Victoria. Um, Yes, I hope that all of you can maybe perhaps share your God winks and um, the ways that God is presence in your life. Now, I'd like to come to a special time of our prayer. Um, I want to remind you that you can post your um, prayer requests here in the comment section. Um, we also are able to uh, harbor your prayer requests through our Grace 
United Methodist Church uh, website. Uh, so you're able to um, share those and um, we can lift them up in a prayer chain uh, and uh, just to know that we covet those prayers and we care for them. I do want to share that um, if I'm not able to catch all of your prayer requests here in the comments, I want to reassure you that I will pray over all your requests. So um, please do not let your heart be burdened if you find that I'm not able to, to lift you up. Um, so um, I see, first of all, that we see um, that we're going to lift up Edie's friend, Pat. So Edie, indeed, we, we lift up Pat. Absolutely. Um, I want to, first of all, um, lift up the symphony of names to you. And um, these are names that we and folks that we are lifting up um, in particular that are dealing with special needs of our pandemic. And again, um, just please be reminded that uh, you can go to our Grace United Methodist um, Church website. The link is being posted there for you um, and utilize that prayer request form. Uh, Christine, yes, absolutely. We will pray for your friend Lee, who is right there on the front line, an ICU nurse. Um, we do pray, Victoria, for health insurance um, issues. Victoria's just retired from, from her work as a nurse. Um, and we lift up our, our first responders who are our nurses and doctors and medical support personnel. Um, we lift up um, John and Julie's son, Nathan, in Wisconsin as he's um, dealing with the judicial system and the jail system. Um, the healthcare um, providers in our congregation, we lift up Sabrina and she, her recent diagnosis of the COVID virus. So Sabrina, our hearts and prayers are with you and your beautiful, loving family. We lift up Allie and Diana, Emily, Gigi, Kathy, Susan, Jessica, Jenna, Julie, Val, Debbie, Dr. Theodore. We lift up Linda's friend, Anita, who's recovering from surgery. Uh, we lift up that God can help us to feel strengthened um, in our relationships, even though we're physically apart. Um, and that's right, Kristen, your God winks can reach out and remind you of that. In fact, my mom yesterday, um, who lives alone because my father passed away, she shared that she uh, was able to connect with some of her college friends. And when she called them, they said, Rita, I was just thinking about you. So just making those connections are so important. Uh, we pray for our Grace community, our neighbors um, that are in need, and the many ways that you all are praying for them and that our Grace Church is supporting them. And as we have been lifting up all this week, the church building may be closed, but Grace Church is in action. And I want you to just covet that and hold that close to you. It does give us comfort to know that we are able to help. Uh, we pray for our pastors, Pastor Janet and Pastor Drew, and that they may feel God's care and comfort as they lead us through these times. Uh, want to lift up Diana's brother, Raymond. Uh, we also want to lift up Trevin. He's one of our young adults um, that is finishing his boot camp, and changes are happening um, with his closing um the uh excuse me with his uh the boot camp completion and then his his deployment into his his career um we lift up hi vera hi michael thank you all for posting posting your com comments here it's a great joy um we've just found out yesterday that a beloved member of our church um, Bob Mayer passed away. Uh, Bob sang in our chancel choir and was a great lover of music, sang in many choirs, and also loved to write. So um, we lift up 
Bob Mayer, and we're so thankful for um, Dee and Rick Dieter who um, have passed that information along to us. So we pray for the Mayer family. They um, live in North Carolina, so um, please lift them up. Uh, we also would like to lift up our teachers, our Grace um, Church Learning Center teachers, the administration and the, those families. We lift up our youth and our children that are continuing to navigate outside their comfort zones. And we lift up all of you parents and grandparents, um, aunts and uncles that are helping to support the, your children and your grandchildren. We pray for those who are ill and anxious. We pray for those that have been laid off from jobs, their jobs put on hold, insurance in question and salary. We, we feel that, that pain and we want you to know that God is there. He's rejoicing over you. He has a plan for you. We pray for Brittany, pray for our earth. I pray for my grandson, Parker. And we lift up any prayers that you have on your heart and take a moment to just lift those up silently. So let's gather the scores of those prayers together Yes, thank you. We pray for dentists and dental assistants who are closed. Absolutely, thank you for that, Kathy. So again, let's lift up the score of prayers together. Will you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, you are the great connector and all that you make is good. Joy is worth the wait. We thank you for coaxing us out of our comfort zone into the comfort of you. Today, in the broken places, we see healing. We know you mean to make song out of stress and you comfort us today and reassure us that we're safe in the strong protection of your shielding grace. Help us to surrender to the music of you, God. And I ask you all together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Folks, Palm Sunday is coming up. This Sunday, we encourage you to go out into your yard or in your home, find a plant, leaf, artificial or real, and we want you to wave your branch as we sing hosannas on Palm Sunday this Sunday. We have our uh, live streamed worship service that will occur at 945 on Sunday. We hope that you'll be able to, to tune in and um, just sit back and absorb that wonderful time of worship together in our homes, in the comfort of our homes. So take a branch and wave it. Friends, I want you to keep your eyes peeled for little signs. Your winks that are from God, they've been planted on your path for a reason. The music link that I've provided for you is called Never Lost by Elevation Worship. And it's an upbeat message. And I hope that you'll enjoy uh, the song the message, the lyrics are provided uh, on the video as well. It's a chance for you to know that God is with us. He's battling with us. He's got this. He's holding you in the palm of his hand. Blessings to you all. I miss you. I look forward to being with you soon. Please stay connected. Thank you all. God bless you. 
and have a wonderful day.